PvP time. We got a half hour. This is a good land. Fertile and giving, but if you are simply passing through, bonded one, do not despair. We have other tasks for you. Uh huh. Uh, so the other side of this was a religion thing? That's neat. What is this? Oh. No owner. And I say you can't even destroy it. Huh. Yeah. It's an open public thing, I think. Alright. Yep, okay, we'll go back onto the, uh, mainland over here and at some point I think it's towards the more towards the brimstone area there's a uh, canyon area that actually has a little black eye space I just want to check the uh, DK time because I think it's gonna be soon so I think two three days ago it said like 82 hours 83 hours something like that and you know when you think about it if enough sets of 24 hours go by that means ka-ching, big money, right? So, I don't think anybody would agree it would be time to attack. If that was the case. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah, also, instead of dealing with all the bears and stupid stupid just stick these rocks. As, as long as they keep going. <laughs> And now we might even find another base. Oh, I remember gathering around here. This is funny. Me and my buddy used to take this route. Yeah, I remember this shit. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. It's a lot of history with these lands with me, me and my friend. But mainly me, because I, I, I played the most. So, going through all here is just nostalgia train. I'm sure for you guys too, like if you played Conan or any kind of survival game, you might have a lot of areas that you've either fought PvP at or you're trying to get a loot crate at whatever game with survival and uh, you get ambushed by like a bunch of veterans and you're a noob but then like a, a week later or a month later you come back but you're as good as they are and you just completely fuck their shit up or you wait for them to go to bed and you just completely destroy their base. Or maybe you don't destroy it, maybe you die, and then you realize, alright, I still have a lot to learn. Maybe even wait for another tribe to attack, but then, for any other tribe does all the work, you just kill them. Like, make them feel real comfortable and thinking, oh yeah, we won, we did the beating, we, we did the hoi noi. But nope, you did not do the hoi noi. It's time to die, minoi. <laughs> So you just roll up with like the best weapons you got, the best thralls, uh, tames, minions, friends even that you have. You know, maybe even if you're solo like me for the most part, you know. Might find a hoi hoi day. Maybe the bright proper song to listen to even. There's a lot of options. Uh, I hope that we're able to climb this. This pretty much gets me a nice shortcut to that area there. And I think it's one of these in-between areas that has the, uh... Black Ice Base. If I remember correctly. And walking around here is helping me get there quicker. Thank goodness. I, I would hate to have to climb down here from the bottom. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. And we still need to get my uh, taming horse ingredients too, so. I'll probably take a pit stop after we check on this base first. But th th this is definitely a major priority at the, at the moment. I don't think there's anything out here. Um, let's see, so this is the main desert. I think that the base connected to the desert, if I remember cor correctly. Ah, uh, that was rat hole. You know. But uh, there is a couple of those type of things still throughout here where like, you can kind of uh, build in between the sand and the main area. And it's pretty cool. Uh, I thought that was a boss down there. It was a bug. 
Like I know they added a lot in the game, but I'm not sure how much they've added. Alright, so here's cave number one. There should be a couple other hoi noise. Oh, what is this? Okay. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh, okay, it's a snake. <laughs> yeah, snake I'm not too worried about. I can handle that. Oh, angry, ain't you? Like, ah, how dare you come across my presence, human staircase and shit. I think this is close to the area. At least one of the many, many entrances that they have. Let's get that thing out. Is that snake still following me? Let's see what we got. So, cannibals, 300 hours. Wow. Yeah. yeah, these guys are definitely fucking active. And uh, while I'm here, I might be able to grab up my special ingredients. And some things may over encumber me a good bit, but we'll be alright. And I'm gonna have to hit a different type of bench. I mean, different kind of bush. Um, let's see, there's a couple of these things out here. They have a different look to them. Because I'm pretty sure you can get the snowberries or. Whatever they were called as well. False mandrake too. Oh the gray flower, yeah, that's another one. That was one of the main things they said on here. Or on not on here, but on the uh video. Night blue or something, something. I think this isn't really the main area to get that stuff either, so. Meantime, though, let's drop whatever fiber we picked up in seeds. I don't need to over and cover myself that much. Get rid of that, too. I got plenty of, uh, whatnots to satisfy my craving on food. It's good. And I think that the main base location here. Or at least the one that's going to decay soon, since it was probably, like, that was probably recently built, but in this part, not so much. They can already hear all the creatures they got, damn. This might even be built before the, uh, the Thrall Limit, so. There's probably a lot of tribes that just have a shit ton of stuff. Crazy. Yep, I think we got the utilities I need though for the horse taming, so that's good. This means we'll have more creatures to defend base. Even if they may be able to, because uh, a good amount of numbers can make a difference. Yep. Most of this seems to be the area I was thinking about. That says 300 as well. Oh boy. Go away. We're coming up to the main entrance though soon. Ah, here we go. I'm pretty sure when I was here it said like 82, maybe even less than that or something. I don't even know. Let's see. This is 300. Damn. So, yeah, they might have been one of the tribes that have logged in. Damn. However. Sometimes people like this, they forget that you can climb to areas next to, oh, this would have been a great rat hole base right here. Like, I, I would have just made a tiny little corner base right here. <laughs> Look how hidden this would have been, man. Fuck this huge base that you got, man. You should have just done this. Damn. That's a rock nose. What the fuck, dude? Game's bugging out. It honestly looks like they got a lot of it built up, but I could probably climb in that wall 
on that side and then work my way over there. Not, not there. They, they probably did some testing, but it looks like they had some faulties. <laughs> take advantage of their mishaps, maybe, shall we? I mean, we definitely won't be raiding this space, but let's just see if we can get a good look. Maybe they got some crafting tables up top, or some animal pens and shit. Maybe stuff that they neglected. Oh, shit. Uh, this must have been the more recently built thing. Uh, just gotta find a... Ah, cool, I can land here. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's take a look. There's probably no openings over there, but there appears to be some hoi noi over this way, and then there's this huge fucking herp derp, which I'm down to explore. Yeah. So let's take my armor off, except for gauntlets, because I, I wonder if climbing has something to do with, like, you know, the gauntlets that you have. Like, maybe if you have good gauntlets, you can reinforce yourself against spikes a little bit. Like, maybe they're. Oh, come on, dude, climb! Oh my god. Stamina waster, I hate you. I'll never do that in real life. Yeah, if I'm gonna climb something, I would make sure that I have a good grip. I will cut holes into the rock. You know, give myself some better balance. Maybe even switch my shoes or anything really, man. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, see so yep, now we can get back to being fully equipped. Yep, this is my this is my idea. We'll just kinda jump from here onto this part. Yeah. Nice. Haha, <laughs> but they didn't expect that. Bitches. Let's make sure I check what time it is. Alright. What hours we got here? So some of these have been damaged a good bit. Maybe there was some fighting here. You can still parkour up here a lot of other routes too. Strange. Just to make sure I can actually climb these though. This looks like more recently built type of land, maybe? Oh, they got a hole on this side. Maybe they got raided over here, but just... The folks aren't really able to go that far. Maybe. Maybe not. Or it might be an invitation. Or maybe these guys were waiting for other players to join, but it just they never did. So they were like, you know what? Let's make an arena for when they do. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do events, even though it's an official server. So I mean, some players, uh, especially I, I felt obligated to do that too when no one was really joining. I was like, well, if someone does join, I would like to, you know, treat them to shit maybe or anything. I don't know. Let's see. I'm not really seeing anything. All too helpful. Let's see, ah, cool, I can't climb this, that's good. There's this spike. Thanks for day. There was something up there. Uh huh. Let's go this way for now. Climb the structure a good bit. I mean, if I'm ever gonna raid it, I would definitely pick a spot like here to attack. I'll break open the ceiling and then climb on through and see what I can get involved in. Mm -hmm. so I forget where the main entrance was that we saw. Let me see where I'm at. Because it was honestly more west, I mean more east. Yeah. Uh, they have a lot of property that they have, and weird enough that they only have. Uh, well, game's lagging out at the moment, but yeah, it says three three hundred hours. There we go. Now it's actually working. So yeah, three hundred hours. So they basically built almost as much as I have. So whatever the reason, 
you know, they built a lot, but they're doing stuff inside to help keep the hours up, which is good. But they're not going to do too much, I would imagine, seeing as they got so much already. So far, I don't see any vulnerabilities at all. But yeah, sometimes you get lucky to like a different tribe might come by, they raid. Uh, speaking of that type of shit, hmm, look what I found. Hello. I'm finally in somewhere. Neat. What the hell? What the fuck? Okay. Is this a trap? Ah, I see. This isn't a climbing trap, is it? Because, uh, I don't know if I have enough stamina to climb that. <laughs> Let me see. We might be stuck. If I'm stuck, I might have to quit Conan for a while and wait for these guys to fuck off. Yeah, this is spiked too. I'm kind of fucked. Looks pretty friendly though. Uh, good. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, please no. <sighs> yeah, so we got 10 more minutes until the time. The time of the Hoi Noi. So, yeah, I think we might be doing my, uh, other base raid tomorrow. Drop those. Kind of cool. Oh, I hear. I hear horses. Horses and stuffs. Stuffs and things. Uh, oh shit! Night time. Where, where was that gap at again? Do I have my torch? I do. There's nine minutes left. So I'll grab a little bit. See if there's anything I haven't seen yet. Let's say they are doing some kind of gate work here. Oh, here's my exit. Nice. Good. We found it. And seeing as we gotta wait for nighttime to pass anyway, I do need to kind of parkour around a good bit. Huh. I'm still curious about that other hole that they have, but I, I think that's just, you know, someone else that raided, and then that's it. Oh, shit. Can you not? Dude. My god. You're gonna get me killed, you fuck. What the hell? Thank you. God damn. That's shit. Even with the torch. I am at a loss of point away. Is this enemy territory or is this something else? I guess we'll have to wait for daytime then. <laughs> but, yeah. but yep, I got some free time, so I'll go on my phone for a bit. You guys can skip ahead if you want. We'll definitely be heading back home after this since I managed to get the materials I needed and uh, I, I need to make more explosive stuff, so I'll probably get one of my pickaxes or something and just run around and get some stone yeah, or even make one because I mean we got reinforcement I could just make another pickaxe uh, stuff and things and we could probably make maybe 10 more explosives like enough explosive jars is good for that monkey base because those guys have weak integrity with their structures these guys here though it's like black guys black guys black guys you know, you got you use at least like five plus uh, explosive jars last time I checked. But, yep, we'll get there. We'll do the things. Um, but real quick, there's something I want to check before I do my little AFK thing. Unless the sun comes up now. Uh, let's see, I'll type in dragon. I think it's like dragon powder. Spark powder. Uh, where is it? Uh, dragon. Oh, what, really? <laughs> Didn't show up earlier. What's all powder created by mashing various alchemical components? I'm pretty sure it had something to do with demon blood. Uh, 
but yep. Yeah. We'll still kind of float around here for the time being, but for now, I will AFK. And you guys skip ahead, like I said. Oi, Benoy. I should be back in a good couple minutes. I know, I'm better than I expected. I was like a minute. <laughs> awesome. Uh, be able to check out what this is. I think this is just the opening that we saw earlier, and that was it. So, so I'm almost tempted to go back that way to see if we find something. Because I, I think all around here is empty. And this is like the very entrance, so... Yeah, I think we will backtrack. Oh, ah. Let me double check what time it is, though, because this can very well. Yep, we got five minutes, so. Yep, oh. I don't think they have any thrallers outside either, so. We're pretty ah. safe on that note. But yep, it seems very easy to get on here now that I kind of see where to go. <laughs> Fart. Um, yep. And it doesn't seem that hard to escape either. I mean, this spot looks a little sketchy, though. Even this one too. Let's see. Let's try jumping this way. Yeah. Lots of spikes, but it doesn't matter. I can climb that stone structure on Hoymanoi. Excuse me. Let's go see what you got in here, sir. I saw that hole in the ceiling. You can't trick me. But you got some secret spikes here or something. I mean, I noticed fucking dick punchers here and there, but I don't think they actually work. Is this actually anything? Or double tap the health and that. It's just slightly damaged. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in there. Yeah. Weird. Alright. Now though, let's go pop around here. And I'm sure as we keep going though, there might be a time where you know we'll hear the echoes of their thrall just going Rah! like because they they sense me and it's PvP time because yeah, that's in like four or maybe three minutes. Yeah, just kind of stick to this little spot. See if they have any thralls out in the bed or anything. Could be a loot crate, uh, anything. Maybe a sleeping player. Maybe somewhere I can sneak into and steal stuff. And maybe they forgot to seal up a hole from the previous raid. Maybe they did it themselves, but they just forgot that they did it. Who knows? You shall see. Man, hoy. Some kind of gap. Also, damn, I'm gassy tonight. Shit. Huh. Imagine if I made that noise and just fucking pure turd came out of my ass right now. <laughs> First time I ever shot myself. 
got the big statue here. Oh, these guys are special. They get the bill next to the statue. Mm. Look at us. We're a tribe of Suki Suki. Or whatever their name is. No idea. Yeah, I mean, they definitely did their fair share of building. I mean, imagine how much gathering they did to get all this black eyes, especially on official. So, I mean, good on them. Oh, my eyes hurt. <sighs> Let's try to get up here. I think we could probably save some stamina by parking my big ass over here. Let's do that. I think maybe once we get back to base, since we're kind of safe, uh, I think I want to go take a good hour or two break. Uh, kind of bullshit around my other games since I'm in PvP at the current time of what we're doing. But, uh, yeah, I definitely want to fuck with the monkey ch monkey clan. I've already stolen their fish. I've uh, trolled their tanes. I've kicked their rhino in the face a couple times. <laughs> you know, stuff and things. But, yeah. About time we actually do a little bit of killing, maybe. Some TNT, if you will, as well. Also, is that the same arrow as that earlier? I think it is, yeah. I literally went all the way around. <laughs> oh, shit. That's fine, though. At least we found a better area to walk around on. Yeah. Plus, we get to investigate. And that's always fun. Should be 8 o'clock now, right? Ah, uh, 7 uh, Getting there. Did they put anything up here? I know that if I was the player who owned this place, I would probably sleep on the rooftop, though, just to be safe. And this way no one can kill me, loot me, uh, put me in some kind of trap. Yeah, nothing goofy. I mean, even if PvP time shuts off, like, people sometimes trap players in, like, an area like that, or they surround them in thralls, you know, they plan the thralls tell them, like, hey, I want you to wait here, and then... You got this huge wall that you can't even cross until PvP hours are on. Yeah. Especially if you get a bunch of rhinos, man, like you're you're pretty much fucked. Let's see what we got here. So this must be the end to their uh their little idea, I guess. Interesting. What is that? Which, which way am I facing? Oh, I'm facing towards the city. Mm. <laughs> I wonder what that big bunch of hoopla is. Yeah, I'm actually kind of... I'm kind of curious that they go by the city. I did talk about it, like, I think last episode or... The beginning of this one, I forget. I know that while I was running over here, I was like, yeah, the city, you get this weak Conan and his woman. They're like, I have survived many ages. And you meet him, it's just like, you have broken the sh shackles of life. I see you survived well. But remember, I am horny on Tuesdays. I will come for you. In both ways. Mm. He's just he's a weird character. Doesn't sound like that, but you can point. Uh, yeah, let's put my armor back on. I was debatable about it, but fuck it, whatever. Plus, another good thing about this, too, is if I take this route, I can probably take the back route of uh, this kind of be careful and kind of casually zoom into the back of this then I can take the water and go all the way back home really really easy or maybe we get lucky and someone has a teleportation room we'll see so uh, this is one area I have not scouted quite yet Let's see what we got here I've learned to emote to yawn have a blood symbol too interesting lots of cool things in this game Little lore spots. 
All kinds of what you might call it. I also think that's the brimstone area, right? Yeah. So I'm not as far off as I thought I was. I thought we were like really, really far away, but nope. I'm actually I, I barely even moved. I think this is close to that mini boss or super rhinos boss. That's like these guys times fifty. Big boy. I remember in the past too. I used to think, like, you know, it'd be kind of cool to, you know, oh shit, almost died there, uh, to build a base around him because if you keep him alive, you basically have this huge creature to help defend your base. I mean, unless if you get involved or you piss it off or some, 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 you know, that, yeah. So some uh ohs may occur. <laughs> That's what I, what I mean to say. <sighs> Oh, so I think we'll take that route. Right up that hill there. This guy's still chasing me. So I want to check my map soon. Kind of get a gist as to where I am. Like, I know where I am because of the brimstone, but I want to know where I am compared to the city. Ah, uh, okay. So I think this is like the, uh, yeah, the stronghold tower in the cities to the south. Yeah, and a lot of people like the thralls from here, and also the fact you can buy and sell things too. You can probably buy healing properties and goodies. I think there's some Jabal Sag stuff, merchandise mixed in there too. And I think the thing to get you Jabal Sag is like, let's pretend that we're facing that camp that they live at. It's to the south of that. There's like a little small temple like this and they have a weird demon Batman that's just like not Batman like oh where's Rachel but like Batman like a genuine fucking creature that speaks to you and he's just like hey you know Jabal Sack he's pretty fucking cool ain't he you should probably sacrifice me some some loot and I'll give you a potion that teleports you to his realm for as long as you want and if you want to get out, you can either die or, you know, beat the boss or run backwards and get to the safe zone and leave through the gate. But it teleports you back to the, uh, to the noob spawn, sadly. But, if you know my way, like I mentioned, you can easily get to safety. I'll see how this thing's right around here. Ah, I found a base! Ha ha ha! I knew there'd be some motherfucker out here. Damn. You know, they got the Trump wall. <laughs> they said, we don't want anyone to enter our China. If they want us to enter our China, I will punch them right in the vagina. Uh, I got water here, huh? Uh, fancy. Oh, tribal monkey again! Yo, these guys are fucking everywhere, dude. But, you know, thralls are limited, so... It looks like they do all their shit at the other base. Interesting. So, what in the name of... Oh! Huh, huh. I see. See, I, I, I guess I was right, though. This is probably where to get all their really beastly stuff. Let's kind of this. Hmm. I see. So I, c I can probably make that jump, maybe. <laughs> I don't recommend it though, but then they really made a whole fucking fortress and shit. I don't even know what's in there, but probably nothing special. I mean, I'm very tempted to just hop in this bitch and try to look around, but I'll probably just waste my time. So there's probably nothing in here, it's not even their main base. It really gives me hope. So, yeah, I mean, you build that big fortress, you probably want to keep it, so. Yeah. Stuff and things. Yeah. And then they got other bases throughout the map, too, that have like 300 hours on it. So, I mean, that's, that certainly says something, don't it? Yep, hello. I haven't been here in two years, but I, I greet you again. Hi there. Can I speak with you? No. Uh, 
So basically, Conan's pretty much telling you, hey, I want you to tame these guys. But when you do so, since it's a passive city, which is very, very rare. Oh, hold on. What happened to you, sir? Oh, shit. That's a dead man. Hello? Ah. They're like, look, this man tried to break into people's stuff. But what do we do with people who break into things? Fuck them up. Ah. What can I get you? What? Can I get you? Well, at least he sounds like a genuine fucking... No refunds. He sounds like the guy who, um, yeah, Bellator's goods. Oh, who are you? Uh, what can I get you? Fair belt. And who are you? May set guide your steps. Oh, okay. Buy something I haven't got all day. Buy something. I'm a bad voice actor. My name is Tom. I am Tom the Stripper. I buy and sell strawberries. Are you helping the Knights of Knee? Oh, I have plenty of strawberries for you. Oh, what dark times we are. Saying knee to old women. Oh. Me. I love Monty Python. I like how I'm not even getting into it either. Like, usually I get really into that joke and I just. I, I, I do it really loud. But. Uh, Alright. But yeah, you meet the uh, Conan girl in here. They don't let you see her, but she's in there. <sighs> yep, and I think our sir and savior Conan Arnold Schwarzenegger is right around the corner here. And I did say I was gonna take my break soon, so once I get home, you know, that's when we crash. You know, I'm guessing there was supposed to be a croc that pops out, but it just didn't happen. Weird. Oh well. Yeah, I keep doing that noise. I think it's the... I think it's the NPCs making that shit. I mean... I've seen NPCs pull out like a weapon. Or especially if they're strong. They roll up and they just have... You know, roaring of... Rock... Rock nose. And yeah, they want to fight you. Ah, uh, yep, this is the place. Yep. Here we are. Hey, hey, Conan. So you live, and we meet again. Tell me, have you had a good chance to look around? I don't think anyone's been here in like of these years. Exiled lands. <laughs> it's not too late to get back on that crucifix. It. Oh, really? Any fool can see that you need answers left hanging for the vultures on that cross. A cursed bracelet that keeps you trapped in this place. Everybody trying to kill each other. I should leave you all to your fate. I don't have the stomach for sorcery. Give me a foe that I can strike with cold iron. Mm. Ah! I'll be here a while. Mm -hmm. His wine tastes like boiled camel's piss and the bread's half weevil, but I'm comfortable enough. <laughs> if you have questions, ask. There's I wandered for a while. I have traveled. There is a woman. Ah, what do I know of source? Just remember. Any fool. I wandered for a while after I moved across in the south. Souls and Darfari man eaters. In the east, apes that walk like men among the overgrown ruins. What an ancient city. You can walk out of here with a bargain. I found an amphitheater where the ancient dead walk. And the memories of ancient battles stay in the center. They usually wear the uh, dank of sorcery. Dancer alpha, but are not. Very strange. What is that? Oh, okay. It's a different color than what I remember, so I was like, what the hell? Alright, so yeah, we'll head south and we'll try to clear out this area.
Also trying to see if there's any bases. Oh, there's the rhinos. I remember this shit now. Yeah. I remember there, there was like a mini boss or boss rhino here too. And uh, he packs a punch. I think it's that big bitch over there. Yeah. That's the one problem about the southern entrance with this uh, coat. It's like, well, we have rhinos that live right outside that aren't even tamed by us that are just chilling, staying away from the main city, and they just kind of, it's like they're protecting the entrance, which is kind of cool. But the problem is, no matter who gets close to them, they want to fight. I wish they acted like shellbacks, you know. Also, a long time ago, too, when I was looking for any base that had to do with my enemies, uh, someone took over this whole desert area. And had this huge fucking like super base. It was tall too. It was uh, up to the size of that cliff here. And judging by that clan, the monkey clan, that seems to pop up almost everywhere with structures. Uh, they they probably build it the same way. I wouldn't be surprised. But now with the follower limit, things may be changing, and for the better. So, you know, people are going to have a main base. The main base is going to have the thralls. But, like, all the other crafting areas are probably just going to have traps. So, I'm sure people will probably rack their brains a good bit. But I imagine a lot of people probably quit official. And move on to unofficial so they can experience the unlimited followers. Again and again and again. But, like, we still have that, uh... My, my character in that other server with the no rules in it. So, that's good. I know we have opportunity. Should we need it? Oh, this is my old farming route too, yep. Whenever I used to try to pass to the uh, brimstone area, I, uh, when I lived down here, I used to take this route to get up there. Yep, so I'll give you an example uh, before we keep going. So I lived, I, I had this huge super base stretching out all around this territory. And we just kept taking over, spreading and spreading. And you know, we didn't get up to here. Well, we got up to about here and we found an ally, but we were trying to get this area too, but be before we quit and took a break, um, because we won our war, and eventually we moved back or whatever when we came back, but yeah, I used to go all the way around here, and I head directly north, I would get my brimstone, I would come back down, get that shit cooking up in all my forges, and I would keep going back, forward, back, forward. And then if I found someone to raid, I would come back up to here, you know, do whatever, snow area, volcano, well, I mean, didn't raid too much up here, but mostly all throughout here. But, yeah, good shit. But as you can see, though, just a bunch of map markers, I've basically been everywhere in Conan, but I haven't experienced everything again, just by the fact that I have so many new things, too. So, it almost feels like we're playing Conan 2. But like, you know, same map, just, you know, this takes place a hundred years later. But to be honest though, since, uh, time flows in Conan, especially on official, you know, it's probably, it's probably been that long. <laughs> At least in game time, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> but yeah, when we get to those waters though, I'll be able to do my business. There's a good shortcut through this uh, temple too. This temple also leads to the, probably the easiest boss in the game too. The uh, Abyss Watcher. He's, uh, he's a slug. I, I think there was um, some, some, some fancy shit he did. Like he would shoot acid and you had to dodge it, break your armor, destroy your health, you know, blah blah blah. T typical creature, but uh, it would never jump out of the slime, it would stay in this little pit, and just spin in circles and crap, yeah, make a bunch of shit, <sighs> ah, a little some some out here, I think I saw that before, but I forgot about it. I remember passing by here. I was like, yeah, let's go back to my old home. Let's see what's in here. And then we found this. Monkey. 
Oh, Illumini, Illumini Shotgun. Yeah. This is that guy that was on before. Interesting. There we go. Ready to maybe did it. Yeah, it is currently PvP time, so... I mean, this has the less amount of health, so... Let me see. Did I damage that at all? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I would thought we'd get some out of that. Okay, so that did damage that time. Yeah, if I had my explosives, so we'd get in there right now. Hmm. Let me see, though. I wonder if that's a genuine thing, this whole fireball thing. Also, what is this message someone sent me? Oh, someone calling someone as a liar. Uh, let me see. So, alright. Conan Exiles Fire Orb. How to make fire orbs. So, yep, I'll definitely watch that on my break. I think honestly, since we're relatively safe, I could probably take a break wherever I want. <laughs> and then we could just make it back to base uh, at my own pace. And then eventually, you know, we'll be making the supplies for the raid. But I don't have to actually play right now. I, I, just, I just need to get to a safe spot. Yeah. So let's go ahead onto these bridges or something. Yeah. It's good though because usually no one builds on these two. Even in the original Conan. The buyers, I mean, like back when I played a lot. But uh, yep. Yeah. Typical person. They usually check the uh, borders, but I never. Wait, hold on a minute. Do I see. Yo, there's a whole ass fucking base. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That might be where this Illumini guy lives. Huh. <laughs> Border bases for the win, I guess. <laughs> Shit. Alright. Let's, uh, let's actually head on up here then. Fuck it. I probably won't be able to do much, but... Eh, why not? Let's see. Let's get my uh, armor off so I can climb around a good bit. And I know that my horses are going to die at some point soon, so I, I think... <laughs> I want to take maybe at least an hour break and then come back because I think that they had four hours to live before we left and they usually take a good amount of time to even stay alive, I mean to even tame. Ah, Lumini Shotgun decayed. Ah. Interesting. Well, good sir, it seems you made some mistakes. Little do you know, I exist. And as long as I exist, I will continue to take advantage of people's mistakes. Such as this. Simple base on the border. Thought you were real safe and out of prying eyes, but no sir. We're about to get the world rocked. At least a little bit. What do we got here? Oh. Okay. He might be a little bit newbie, so he might have made some mistakes. I said he got hyenas, bro. <laughs> oh, wow. Alright, I'll take that. Thank you. Yeah, but I think we'll be walking. Might get a lot of loot. My god. He might even be here. Yeah, Tinker's Bench. Let's just say. That's it. Here, nothing there. This thing has like eight minutes left. What am I here? Got it. Okay. Uh, I think someone else might have came by and took everything. I don't know he was working on trying to get one ingot. <laughs> 
I think he got raided. I really do. So I don't see shit. I mean, there's a lot of other tribes that are active too. But I mean, hey, we got uh, Castle Hoy Hoys. Dude, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Shit. Let's see if that did anything though. Really? <laughs> Fucking nada. Alright. Fuck you too then, sir. But hey, I took his hyenas though, which is good. Can you actually climb, sir? About to get me killed. Fucker. Oh my god. Is, is it because of my armor? Oh, it's a sandstorm. Ah. I don't even see anything. That oh, looks like I'm dying too. Fuck. Yeah, at least it gives some shelter. Oh, okay. I think it's a shelter spot right here. Nice. Huh, strange that I don't even see a sandstorm at all. Weird. Actually, rude, I say. <laughs> yeah, we'll also check the little structure thing you got going on. Alright, storm's gotta be done now, man. There's no way. Yeah, hey, look at that. Now I can climb. Like a fucking champ. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wonder where he went though. He might, he might be in a little house. And this man has an elevator. Huh. Okay. Tramping through the bush. On and on we push. And two. To think of it. And we can't see where we're going. Mm hmm. Holy mother of. Fuck balls, dude. Wow, okay. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I will take everything you have. Nice. And I'll take that too. Oh, so that's how you look like, huh? I see. If I had some good tools, I could probably break this shit open. But nope. No kind of nada. I said that it is out in the open. <laughs> I'll certainly hope I don't die. I'm not even worried about what thralls they have. I'm worried about the fucking death wall. That thing is insane. It's very powerful. Also, this thing is very funny, though, that they built so out in the open. It's, it's kind of funny. There's actually a good couple of areas actually within that dungeon that we can AFK at. I think that when you respawn, though, I don't know if they put you outside, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that wherever you de despawn is where they put you. Stuff and things. Good. Let's see where your elevator takes you. Slowly but surely, it's coming. <sighs> Oh, thanks for the hyenas, bitch. <laughs> I'm sure they're probably gonna flip their shit and be like, Ah, oh, some guy walked into my base and took my shit. Eh. Yeah, I'll be back to loot their shit, but I don't I don't know if they'll be on or not. But, uh, I mean, our target is still monkey after all. I mean, this is a lot easier, so... And I'll probably watch how to do the fire jars, so and we'll, we'll do that. Yeah. I mean, we got a lot of water jars saved up, and gas jars, so I'm pretty sure the best thing to do is, that. I think it was gas jar, and then you do a flame ball, and it does, like, huge amounts of structure damage. It's fucking cool. So is this thing even coming? Oh, wow. Now it's gotta be coming, right? Okay, now it is. What the fuck? 
so slow. It's actually coming though, which is good. I wasn't doing the first time, I was sitting here for a good while. I'm like, what the hell? Like, imagine if I was fighting them and shit. <laughs> I'd be out here dying. I'd be like, ah, oh, fuck, ah, oh, fuck, ah, oh, fuck. And I'm being attacked. They don't have any armor, but they're kicking me. And they kick me off the cliff like there's a Sparta. And then they take all their loot back. No, that would be the worst nightmare. I mean, it's not like they had a lot of good loot anyway. I mean, I got, I got a good amount of armor that would be for the thrall and extra hyenas, which is cool. Some iron. They got even got elevator, which is cool. Some, uh, some structures, too. So, I mean, yep, yeah, at some point, though, I definitely want to come back here and, uh, take all their shit. I mean, if it's a minute going on. I'm starting off, too, so. Raiding a fellow noob, even though I'm not a noob, is, uh, I'm a veteran gun noob. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's good, though. There's stuff and things. There's stuff. Yep. But yeah, we will investigate this area too to see if there's anything down here. Maybe a thrall, maybe some some more base, maybe it's just straight up like just a platform just to get their elevator up and running. Which I imagine that's what it is. But yeah, I will go back to base. Uh, did I steal stone from you? Not really, no. But we did get some tools, and I can put that here. Good. Got food with me, we got the hyenas. Good shit. And I found out that we have an elevator over here now. So I mean even if we get them to like quit, you know, from raiding them, they're like, oh fuck this place, I'm gonna leave, bro, oh, fuck this server I'm out. You know. There's no amount of options we can do. Um, but yet for the time being, since shelter is a major thing, let's go head on into the uh, boss room, shall we? And I don't care if somebody follows me, I'm going to kill them. What was that? You, even Bitch McGee wakes up. Like, I, I, I will fight for their loot, man. I, I'm, I'm an angry man. An angry Ian kicks major booty. Yeah, these guys like to defend the little slug god, don't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. You son of a bitch. Oh. Yeah, you like that one, huh? Thanks for the stone. Ah. Still managing to shoot me. I'm pretty sure we need a body sacrifice anyway. I remember I used to get thralls from this place. Uh, I remember I remember dragging a thrall all the way over here to uh, open this door. But what I can probably do, though, if I'm that determined to enter, most of it's already open. So, uh, no, it's not. Yeah, I'll, I'll go piss off that guy then. We'll kill him over here. This way I can sneak into here and this person doesn't have an easy way to just get to me. Yeah. But the problem though is... Yeah. So yeah, let's go piss him off. I still wish I could rewind down and do it have like my super base and just tell my buddy like, Hey man, listen, I'm from the future. <laughs> like, let's keep our shit. What's up, bitch? Damn, you're a big man. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, good golly. I, I really need to sacrifice you.